folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the mini mates, Thor the Mighty Avenger, Agent Coulson and Frost Giant 2 pack set from Diamond Select Toys and Art Asylum. This set uh, was first available in 2011 around the time of the Thor live action movie and this set is part of wave 39 I believe of the mini mates line which was a Thor themed set. And this set in particular, I believe, was an exclusive to just comic shops and was not available in uh, Toys R Us. I got this set in 2012. Uh, I got it at a uh, comic shop called A1 Comics and paid $9.99 for this set. Taking a look at the uh, packaging here and the figures within, you can see uh, that it is uh, themed uh, for the Thor movie. And uh, a little bit dusty on there. And uh, you can see uh, the two figures in this set, Agent Phil Coulson and a Frost Giant, which is uh, pretty interesting. And they're in the windows. On the side you have a picture of uh, Agent Coulson. And on the other side you have a picture of the Frost Giant. And uh, here uh, we have the back of the packaging. And a... Uh, previews of uh, other figures in this uh, particular wave. You got Coulson and the Frost Giant there. You got Odin here, Thor, Loki, Jane Foster, and the Destroyer. And uh, here uh, below in two window boxes you have descriptions of both Agent Coulson and uh, one of the Frost Giant. And you can see here, this is official movie merchandise uh, for the Thor movie. And yes, uh, this is uh, part of Wave 39 of the Minimates line. Now we'll be right back and uh, have a peek at both of the figures from this set. Okay, we have both Minimates out of the packaging and they're both very interesting. One of them I'm really excited about. But uh, as you can see, uh, there's not very many accessories included in this set, uh, unless you want to include the armor pieces for the Frost Giant. Uh, but there's not even a uh, transparent display base included, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, continuing on, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, these Minimates in more detail. And we'll start out with the Frost Giant here. And uh, this uh, Minimate is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than your standard Minimate, uh, being a Frost Giant, uh, but not too big. Uh, just slightly taller, as you can see, than uh, Agent Coulson here. And uh, there is a little bit of bulk added to this Frost Giant in the form of uh, an overlay of uh, added bulk. Uh, you can see musculature in the skirt area here. And uh, as you can see, uh, this Minimate also is partially armored uh, in the head in the shoulder here and uh, on the arms and uh, the armor for his uh, legs are uh, simply uh, I guess tampoed on to the legs there but uh, still pretty cool and uh, nice uh, sculpting design on the helmet there and also nice um, I guess spray of frost or ice on the armor so uh, that's kind of cool to make it uh, look like it came from an icy environment uh, very very nice now the helmet on this particular uh, mini mate is very very tight and um, I really had to actually wedge something here just to pry it off the head and I don't plan to do that now but it's uh, it can be removed it's just very very tight and um, let me just pop off the head there and also the uh, armor overlay 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 excuse me is uh, can be s removed as well you have to pop off the head of course and you just slide that up over the figure and you can see it's a plain uh, block on the torso there which is uh, pretty neat let me just put this back on now, uh, from what I understand, uh, there are different variations of the Frost Giant, and this one here is included in the two-pack. I'm not sure if this particular uh, 
Frost Giant is reused in other uh, sets in the wave. Or I know there are single packed uh, Frost Giants as well. And I don't know if that's reused, but I believe there's two or three different variations of this Frost Giant. Uh, probably different uh, heads and uh, different uh, torso uh, setups. But uh, this one here is uh, the one uh, for the two pack, and you can see that this Frost Giant's got a mean grin uh, with reddish eyes. Pretty cool. And of course, you got the sculpted. Uh, chest there and uh, I don't know if you can call them wodes uh, in the Thor movie but tattoo like uh, work on the uh, torso pretty cool and of course you got the armor pieces here and on the arm you can see it's uh, frosted there to make it look icy and he also had the skirt which is part of the torso here got some nice detail on there on the skirt area is very very cool we got some more here on the back and uh, also uh, for the uh, armor on the legs which are uh, simply tampoed on there Let's see if we can get into focus there we go pretty interesting now as far as articulation for this frost giant the head is on a um, ball uh, socketed joint so you can uh, move the head up and down tilt it side to side even go all, all the way around which is nice it's a little restrictive um, due to the added torso uh, piece here uh, but it, you could still get it uh, up and down and uh, with some movement the arms are on a ball socketed uh, joint at the shoulders as well uh, you could swing them up uh, down, uh, back, just a little bit outward here because of the uh, shoulder armor there. This one's a little bit more, but not that much more. And uh, you can also swing it uh, forward and back on there. There is a uh, waist articulation, so you can uh, swing uh, the torso all the way around if you need to. Uh, the legs are on a uh, ball socketed joint, so you can uh, move them up down, uh, back, out to the side, and uh, rotate around a little bit. Oh, I forgot the hands do swivel all the way around, uh, but the little arm guards here do get in the way, at least uh, with your fingers, so you have to really grip it uh, in the opening of the hand to move that there. Uh, the uh, leg uh, has a uh, bend in the knee, so you can bend it that far back and this much forward and the feet are on a swivel uh, cut basically and can go all the way around a uh, nice um, mini mate of a movie frost giant uh, pretty cool and uh, pretty uh, uh, nice that they have uh, variations of this so you can army build a, a, an army of frost giants so that's pretty cool now uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the one uh, figure here that I've uh, been really interested in getting. This is the reason why I got this two-pack set. Uh, it's because of uh, Agent uh, Phil Coulson here. And uh, I got him mainly because I was building my Movie Avengers Minimates uh, team. Or at least movie figures. And I noticed they didn't have an Agent Coulson. So... Uh, fortunately, they released one during the uh, Thor movie release, uh, initial release, and I'm glad to get this. And as far as I know, this is the first and so far only official release of a Agent Phil Coulson in action figure form, so I'm very happy to get this. Hopefully they'll produce uh, different... Uh, versions of uh, of an action figure of Agent Coulson in the future, especially with his um, character being uh, featured in an upcoming television series. So uh, hopefully he'll get more uh, action figure time in different forms. But uh, for now, uh, the only official Agent Phil Coulson figure is a Minimate, and I'm glad to have it. And uh, taking a look at... Uh, 
Phil Coulson here. He's in a typical suited um, Mini Mate body. Pretty nice. And uh, looking at the uh, head there, the likeness to Phil Coulson is uh, at certain angles is close, but most times not really accurate, which is unfortunate. Uh, just uh, at certain angles, you do see the likeness a little bit, but mostly it's not too accurate, which is unfortunate, being the only Agent Coulson figure. Um, but I'm uh, still happy to have one. Uh, I think the hair is a little too dark, but uh, that's okay. One thing I really li do like is that uh, they sculpted the hair where it's uh, within the range of the Minimate uh, body type there to approximate a balding head. <laughs> Would have been nicer if it was cut a little bit more to simulate a balding head, but uh, still I like the, the effort that they made uh, Art Asylum and uh, Diamond Select Toys. Uh, they did uh, make an effort to make it look like he had a balding head, so uh, that's kind of cool. And uh, the hair can be removed. Uh, it's a little tight, uh, like the Frost Giant helmet, but um, you can uh, basically slide it off and you can see the hole there where you can uh, place the hair piece on. And you can see uh, the hair piece here has the uh, ears painted on. And uh, just slip that uh, back on there. And it, it has a pretty tight hold on there. So pretty cool. And uh, you can see it's a typical suited body, a uh, G-Man suit, uh, suit in black, and a uh, white shirt and black tie. And if you pop off the head, uh, the coat can be removed, but uh, let me just go ahead and, uh, oops, a little tight there. Let me see if I can slide that out. Uh, here. It's a little tight, but if you work at it, you can slide the coat off. And you can see uh, he's got plain white shirt, but oops. But as you can see, um, unless you have an extra pair of arms in white, it really doesn't uh, go well with uh, the coat removed. So it's uh, best to leave the coat on here. And uh, just slide that back in there. Put the head back on. And. Uh, pretty neat and uh, this figure does come with a couple accessories for uh, Phil Coulson one is a pistol a nicely sculpted pistol there you can see some details there pretty cool and uh, Phil Coulson figure does wield the pistol alright you can see it doesn't fall out but it, it is easily uh, knocked off if you uh, place a slight nudge on the on the pistol there it'll come off so to tighten the grip I usually just squeeze the hands a little bit closer together so I can get a tighter grip on the pistol and also included uh, as an accessory for Phil Coulson is this bullhorn or uh, megaphone that uh, he used in the uh, Thor live-action movie when uh, trying to make contact with the destroyer uh, a pretty uh, funny scene uh, so it's nice that they included that uh, for him to use uh, when he does encounter uh, the destroyer in mini mate form. So uh, pretty cool. Although you can't really get it up close to his mouth unless you get it right here. But then it looks kind of awkward uh, trying to pose it for him to use. So you just have to use some slight uh, trickery and illusion to make it look like he's using it uh, with over his mouth there. But uh, pretty cool that they included a a megaphone. Uh, as far excess, as accessories, I wish they included more. Uh, for example, an alternate head with Phil Coulson uh, wearing sunglasses, as he did in Thor movie. But uh, they did not include that, or a base, or... Uh, well, uh, the Avengers movie wasn't out at the time this figure was made, but a uh, nice big alien uh, or uh, shield uh, weapon. Uh, and uh, you have to see the Avengers movie to find out why. But uh, uh, that wouldn't be included in this set. But 
A nice uh, typical suited body for Agent Coulson. Now there is some painted detail on his crotch area to uh, simulate the zipper in his pants and also the belt above it. So pretty nice on here. And as far as articul articulation for Phil Coulson, it's your typical mini mate articulation. The head on a ball socketed joint allow you to move the head all the way around, up and down, and uh, slightly side to side, although the suit does get in the way, so you really can't move it too much side to side. Uh, arms are on a ball socketed joint at the shoulder, so you can move the arms all the way around, and uh, out and in, and rotate uh, forward and back. The arms at the elbows do bend about that much and uh, that much straight. The hands go all the way around at the wrist and there is a uh, torso articulation at the waist to allow you to move the torso all the way around and the legs at the hips are joined uh, with a ball socketed joint so you can move the leg forward, down, and back as well as uh, out to the side a little bit the knees do bend on a single joint and the feet uh, can go all the way around so nice uh, figure uh, especially the Phil Coulson figure if you've never uh, had a Phil Coulson and want one this is the only way you can get it as of this video no official uh, release of a aging Phil Coulson figure uh, and also one of uh, several types of Frost Giants in this two-pack set. But the main highlight, I think, is the uh, Phil Coulson figure. This is my casual peek into the Mini Mates Agent Coulson and Frost Giant two-pack set uh, from the Thor uh, live-action movie series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.